What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having an awesome day out there. As you can see, we have frostbite over here chilling in the driveway. But today's video, I wanted to show you guys a new toy that we just got for frostbite. And some of you've probably already noticed it in some of my previous videos, but we are gonna talk about the Holly Sniper Shift Light. And I've had some people ask me, what's that thing flashing on my dash? Well, it's the Sniper Shift Light from Holly. And we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna go over a few features and we're gonna go over mostly why I personally love this little shift light, especially for frostbite, now that we have to shift the transmission manually with the Coke Racing full manual valve body. Um, this shift light makes that much, much easier. And guys, this thing is just absolutely awesome. So let's go check it out real quick. So a few things I want to mention right off the get-go, guys. This shift light is absolutely super, super easy to install and use. Now, they have a couple different versions. And they have many color options to choose as well. Uh, but we actually went with the silver billet finish for Frostbite. And I went with the OBD plug-in version. Now, they do make... A couple versions where you can get the OBD version like right here where it simply plugs right into your diagnostic port no wiring none of that mess plugs right into the diagnostic port and you're good to go that simple the other version is an actual hard wire version where there's no plugs on it you actually wire it to the vehicle your power your ground your tack adapter pickup wire all that stuff um, now, also, if you go with the OBD version like I did, you can actually hardwire that as well. It gives you directions on actually cutting the plug off and hardwiring it if you want to. And that's why I went that route because if I ever felt like in the future I didn't want to use the plug and play diagnostic port, I can always hardwire it later. So I felt like that was the best one to go with um, because I got more options. Now. Let's talk about a couple things why I love this light. One, because it's plug and play and no wiring. Two, it will let you select each gear that you want to shift at. So you can set the light to flash at any RPM you want to let you know when it's time to shift, obviously. Now, the other thing it does is it kind of has a launch control feature. You can set another RPM range to actually light the light. So say you're at the tree and you're trying to get to say 3,000 or 4,000 RPMs and that's what you want to launch at. You can set the light to that RPM and when the RPMs reaches that zone, the light's going to light and it's going to let you know that you have reached your launch control RPM. That way you don't have to focus on the actual RPM gauge. You can look ahead and you know that if you see that amber light, you are, in, you are at the RPM you want and you can focus on actually racing, which that's really nice also. Um, so that's another, you know, that's another benefit for if you don't have say a two-step or something like that, the launch control feature definitely helps. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to set some of this stuff. It's super simple. So heck yeah, I'm gonna grab the camera. I'm gonna show you what the actual shift light looks like. And guys, it's actually, it's kind of like a, a, a mag light, like a little flashlight. It's really small. It doesn't take up hardly any space. And I love it. Um, you know, there might be some people out there like, oh man, why didn't you get like the huge five inch monster tag? Nah, I didn't really want that big, huge thing on my dashboard. I just didn't want it. This thing is very sleek. You hardly notice it. It's super bright. You can also, uh, turn the brightness down um it's just it's a great little shift light so here we go 
All right, so as you can see, that is the Holly Sniper Shift Light. Very, very sleek. Doesn't take up hardly any space at all. It comes with the mounting bracket and everything. I ended up doing the stick on the window deal. This is very adjustable for very many angles. It is just super, super awesome little light. And uh, very, very easy to use. Again, this is the OBD diagnostic plug-in model where there's no wiring it literally plugs right in to the obd port right there that's the plug for it plugs right in all right so i'm actually going to remove it from the mount real quick and i'm going to go over the features that i'm currently using on it and how to change them and how easy the sniper holly shift light is so first things first I'm going to pull a little slack out here. And there you go. You have two buttons on the light. You got this button and then this button over here. And then this is your screen. So I just pressed it. And as you can see, the first thing it says right now is LED. And if I press it again, I'm going to go over here and press the right side button. And this will go over. That's the display. Now, LAU, that's for launch control. So if I press, if I press and hold that button down, right now you can see it says 3.5. That's for 3,500 RPM. That is what I have the launch control set to currently. So again, I'm going to go right back in here. And if I go on this left button, that's going to lower the numbers. And then the right side button is going to raise the numbers. Very simple to change that setting. So again, when we first got the truck running and everything is ready to go, and we reached 3,500 RPM. The light on the, the, the shift light will light up and let us know that we are currently at 3,500 RPM. So that's our launch control setting. Now to actually shift, now to actually change our shift points, we're gonna go through here, SP1, SP2, SP3, SP4 is what I currently have it programmed to. Now this will go up depending on your actual vehicle. As you guys know, we have a four speed manual valve body in Frostbite, so I have it selected for four gears. So we're gonna go back to SP1, which would be for first gear. And if I press and hold that button, you'll see it says 6.50, and that's for 6,500. And again, it's very easy to change. The left button lowers the numbers, the right button raises the numbers very simple super simple to use this shift light now if you wanted to change your second gear shift point you'd go to sp2 press and hold the button and there you go it says 6.50 for 6500 that's what i have it set for so you can set each gear to whatever you want so if you want a higher you know, a higher RPM in one gear and a lower RPM in another gear, that is very easy to do. You just simply change each gear to your liking. I mean, it can't, it really can't get much easier than this thing right here. This Sniper Holly Light is very, very, very easy to use and it works very well. So there you go, guys. A badass product from Holly. The Sniper Shift Light works very, very well. I've been using it on Frostbite for a few races now. Um, some of you guys have actually noticed it in the videos. Maybe some of you haven't, but there you go. You definitely are gonna notice it now. And uh, I just wanted to do a video on it of how it works, how easy it is to hook up and use. And overall, just how to actually change your settings. They're super, super easy on that thing. In between races, you can actually go in there and just hit a couple buttons and change stuff so quickly. And, and that's why I like that shift light very, very much. They make a lot of different versions of it. You can get different colors 
Um, we went with the amber one. I believe they got them in like blue. They got them in red. Um, I think they got them in like some clear LED colors, lots of colors. The actual housing of the unit, like we have the silver, uh, the billet finish version. I think they got black ones, uh, the silver one obviously. They got some other colors as well. So you can kind of, you know, mix and match to, you know, your vehicle. So if you're trying to color coordinate it, I'm sure you got, I'm sure they got one that'll work out for you. And again, the thing is very, very small. It takes up no space at all. Super, super awesome product. And the price on it, they're not that bad. They're actually under 150 bucks. Some of them are around 100 bucks to $125. Um, I think the one that I got, uh, which is the basic unit, which is the amber color, the silver finish, I think that one was around 100 bucks, $120, somewhere right there. If you're interested in this item, especially if you have a stick shift car, the Challenger guys out there uh, with a six speed, um, and anybody else, I mean, it's definitely a must have if you have a, a stick shift car, in my eyes. I think it's definitely worth the uh, investment to have that shift light if you're interested in this holly sniper shift light the link will be in the video description below so just scroll down and uh, link will take you right to holly and get you going so as always guys stay safe out there we'll see you on the next one